Well, it's actually the hull of an upturned ship. I was going to say... isn't it? I've never seen it. Is, is it the hull of an upturned ship, Carol? Spot on, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no flies on you, my lovely. It is also the first glass house built in Kew and it holds some very unusual plants and very rare species, some that are even extinct in the wild. Now, today's forecast is one of heat building. What's happening is it's going to be humid across England and Wales today. That humidity will get into southern Scotland as we go through tonight, and then tomorrow it will be across the whole of the UK. Today, though, we do have a weather front draped across Northern Ireland and also Scotland, the west. That's producing a lot of cloud and also some rain. But through the day, what you'll find is that will tend to fizzle and the rain will tend to die out. Behind it in the northwest, it's going to brighten up. It will still be quite windy, but ahead of it for southeast Scotland, all of England and also Wales, you're in for a dry day. Now, there'll be a lot of sunshine around today and there will also be a lot of humidity. The level's rising. The odd shower is possible in some western areas, but that is about it. Temperatures today, well, about 16 to 22 in Scotland and Northern Ireland and about 25 to 32 as we come across England and Wales, the highest temperatures across East Anglia and also the South East. Now, through this evening and overnight, there'll be some heavy thundery showers potentially across northwest Scotland and also Northern Ireland. Some mist and fog patches forming, but for most of us, it is going to be a dry night with some clear skies but humid. Look at those temperatures in double figures, that humidity not just in England and Wales, but also getting into southern Scotland as well. Tomorrow then, we watch the showers in the northwest move northwards and clear, but we'll see further heavy and potentially thundery showers across Northern Ireland and Western Scotland through the day. We could also see a few isolated showers in other western areas, but again, they will be the exception rather than the rule. A lot of dry, hot and sunny weather tomorrow. Widely, we're looking at the mid-20s to the low 30s. Again, the highest temperatures will be across England and Wales, particularly so in the southeast. And then as we get into Friday, we'll have seen some thunderstorms in the west overnight. We'll start off in the west on Friday morning and they're going to be pushing northwards and eastwards as we go through the course of the day. Hit and miss if you catch them in the southeast or not, but if you do, again, they'll be heavy and temperatures clinging on to the highest temperatures in East Anglia tomorrow. But of course, as the cloud and the thunderstorms come across, it will have an impact on the temperatures and they'll go down. And then for the weekend, it turns cooler, it will be windier and there'll be rain or showers at times. That's it for me. The headlines are coming up next. Absolutely right, Lou. Good morning, everybody, from beautiful Kew Gardens. We're surrounded by a kaleidoscope of colour, beautiful perfume coming off those lovely flowers. And worth mentioning, if you are planning to coming to Kew Gardens, which, of course, has been closed until the 1st of June due to the lockdown, there are safety measures in force for coming in to maintain a safe social distance. Also, if you are, bear in mind too that the buildings are all closed until the 4th of July. Now, the weather here, it's already 20 degrees and it's going to heat up as we go through the day, not just here in London, but across most of the UK. Temperatures above average for most of us, some of us round about average, and the humidity is also going to be rising as well. We have a weather front though draped across Northern Ireland and also western Scotland. That's producing a bit more cloud and also some rain. Through the day, that will tend to lose its putt and it will tend to fizzle. So brighten up across northwest Scotland and here too, it will remain rather breezy. But for the rest of Scotland, for all of England and Wales, it's going to be a largely dry day, hot and sunny. Chance of the odd shower in the west, but not much more than that. And if you do catch one, it's going to be so isolated. Temperature wise, well, today we're looking at roughly 16 to 22 in the north, and as we come further south, roughly 25 to about 32. The highest temperatures will be in East Anglia and the southeast, but somewhere like Birmingham could also reach 30 degrees. So you will know about that, and don't forget the humidity. As we head on through the evening and overnight, well, we'll see some showers which could be heavy and thundery across the northwest of Scotland, some of those getting into Northern Ireland. Most of us will have a dry night though and some clear skies. Now, it's going to be humid again tonight and that humidity won't just be across England and Wales, it's going to creep up into southern Scotland as well. Temperature wise, all of us in double figures, so you can see why it's going to be humid. For some, the temperature won't dip lower than 17 or possibly even 19 degrees. 
So we start tomorrow with the showers across the northwest. They're going to migrate northwards through the course of the day, but in the afternoon they'll be replaced by some more heavy thundery downpours across parts of northwest Scotland and Northern Ireland. And tomorrow we could also see the odd shower in other western parts of the UK, but they'll be the exception. Most of us having a dry, hot and humid day. Tomorrow's temperatures widely from the mid-20s to the low 30s once again. Now overnight Thursday into Friday there'll be some thunderstorms developing in the west and we'll start with them in the west on Friday but they're going to move northwards and eastwards through the course of the day. Many of us catching one, there'll be hit and miss in the southeast. If you're under one it will pull the temperature down but it will still be quite muggy across parts of the southeast. East Anglia could still have temperatures of 29, 30 or indeed 31 degrees. Into the weekend high pressure is replaced by low pressure and we see a return to cooler conditions, windy and also we're looking at some rain or some showers. That's it for me. The headlines are next. But here at Kew Gardens already the temperature is 21 Celsius and widely across England and Wales the temperature is currently 20 or 21. But we're at Kew Gardens as you say, who better to talk temperature rising. And not just the temperature, the humidity is as well, particularly today across England and Wales, tonight across southern Scotland as well and then tomorrow the whole of the UK will feel that bit more humid. We've got a weather front which is dripped across western Scotland and Northern Ireland and that's currently introducing a fair bit of cloud and also some rain but through the course of the day that will tend to fizzle so the rain will die out. It will brighten up in northwest Scotland, it will still be breezy for you though but for the rest of the UK Now there will be the odd shower today in the west but that is about all and depending on your point of view well consider yourself lucky or unlucky if you do catch one. Temperature wise 16 to about 22 degrees across Scotland and Northern Ireland this afternoon. But as we come further south across England and Wales, we're looking at roughly 25 to about 32. 30 in Birmingham, 32 probably somewhere in the southeast or East Anglia. Now, as we head on through the course of this evening and overnight, well, we'll see some showers develop across parts of western Scotland and Northern Ireland, and some of those will be heavy and thundery. For many of us, we'll have a dry night though, and also some clear skies. Temperatures staying in double figures and quite high double figures at that. Don't forget it's going to be humid, It'll be tricky for sleeping in, and that humidity travelling as far north as southern Scotland. Tomorrow then we start off with those thundery showers, but they'll push quite quickly northwards and clear. But they'll be replaced through the afternoon with further thundery showers across parts of western Scotland and Northern Ireland. And like today, we could catch the odd shower, more especially in the west elsewhere. But for most tomorrow, it's going to be dry, it's going to be hot, and it's going to be sunny and humid with highs up to 32 degrees, but widely into the mid or high 20s. Overnight Thursday into Friday we'll start to see some thunderstorms form in the west and they'll be with us first thing in the west on Friday, travelling northwards and eastwards during the day. Now there are showers but they're heavy thundery downpours so not all of us will catch one and they are going to be fairly hit and miss in the southeastern corner. If you do catch one, it will have an impact on the temperature, bringing it down. But still in the southeast we could hit 29 somewhere in East Anglia, maybe 30 or 31. If this is too hot for you, Bear in mind that at the weekend, high pressure is usurped by low pressure and that means the weekend's weather will be cooler, it will be windier and we'll also have some showers or some rain. So it's all change once again, Lou and Dan. Oh, well.